you got three more power play goals. Yeah. I mean, that's how big is that when your power play can add two, three goals a game? Yeah, when they, when your power play is clicking and it's a weapon for you, it's yeah. huge. Uh, motivates the team. The team gets excited uh, when we get a chance because we know there's a good, good, you know, good possibility yeah. we'll score. It also puts the other team, you know, puts them on their heels. They're going to focus on our power play a lot during the week. Um, and then they'll be all spooked, you know, they'll be out of sorts, they won't be able to be as comfortable. But, uh, you know, it's no secret, it's hard work, you know, yeah. it's hard to score goals in this league. Uh, it doesn't matter who you have, if these guys aren't working and putting in the work off the ice and in the video room, it's gonna, you know, it's not gonna click. Yeah, like what kind of work is that to do that? Is it just grinding on the boards? Is it making good, like what, what specifically? Um, yeah, no, well, there's a ton of video that goes into it, okay. uh, you know, head up by Sparzy, whether it's, you know, NHL clips, you know, OHL clips, things that work, okay. you know, so there's always, always watching our power plays, NHL power plays, obviously what other teams kill and, you know, you have an extra guy, so you take what, take what you give, but, you know, I think that the thing is, is you want shots and traffic when you can, it's a fine line, you know, it's yeah. shoot the puck, shoot the puck, but don't get it blocked, so, you know, it's, yeah. uh, you know, you gotta use your options, there's gonna be an yeah. open guy there uh, guys doing a great job at hitting the seams uh, that's huge uh, when you can use the seams stretches them out opens up shooting lanes so it's just being comfortable and then you know obviously doing your best to execute sure uh, Brissard what a nice quarterback like how much Absolutely. of a difference is he <laughs> yeah it's, it's huge you know yeah. it's you know it's Brissard and Piquet are just uh, such huge parts of this team but uh um, Brassa, you know, specifically on the power play, you know, he's, he's excellent again his shot through. He's a right shot, which we've missed the last couple of years. And, uh, no, just excellent power play instincts. Um, you know, he's really been a huge part of, uh, of us, you know, going on a little hot streak here. For sure, yeah. Um, I was just going to ask you one other thing. Uh, Daniel Singer, you had yeah. him here. Obviously a very emotional thing. Like how much did that in home to see a kid like that play in the rest of the yeah, I know it was uh, horrible news uh, when I found out yesterday. I had no idea that uh, you know his mom was was even sick. So uh, you know, t for a guy that age to, to lose a parent is just absolutely heartbreaking. Uh, you know, I know Singer is a great guy. Um, you know, his teammates love him here. His teammates love him there. Uh, kind of guy to do anything for his team, and uh, I think that's you know shows the fact. Uh, the fact he's out there playing tonight. Uh, just. What a warrior, what a hockey player, you know, it's, uh, you could tell uh, his team was inspired by him and, and, I th and I thought they played a really hard game and I'm sure, you know, they were all uh, pulling for Singer a little bit tonight. I know we all were. You know, your big guys always are in the, seem to be in the action, but you got another goal tonight from the, the kids. How big is it to have a guy like Di Simone now contributing on a, you know, you've heard you last week it's important for those guys to you know play it's absolutely huge uh, you know you take uh, take away you know De Simone's goal it's uh, you know it's a, it's a five three four three game you know without the empty net so it's a huge goal uh, more importantly it was a timely goal you know these guys you know they it's the hardest on these guys they're they're at school at 8 a.m they're the new guys in school they're the young guys in the league <laughs> Um, you know, they, they got me all over them when they come to practice over every little thing. So, no, it, it's great to see. Uh, it's, it's awesome to see these guys rewarded, and it just, you know, continues to show. I mean, yeah, we're focused on this year, and we're all in on this year, and, and you know, it's all that matters is a championship. But, you know, when we do talk about, you know, next year, we're very excited on, on you know, the, the guys bringing back, and we, we think, you know, when we graduate a big big chunk of these forwards, guys like Uberti and Simone are going to do a great job picking up the baton and, you know, starting the next wave. You guys, you know, tie game after one period. You guys really kind of owned the play in that first period in a lot of ways. The second period, you guys came out and really took over. The guys really seemed to stay patient, where, you know, a couple years ago when they were younger, they, they wouldn't have been that patient. You could see the frustration, but they seemed to really be willing to stick to the program this year. How much easier is it for you as a coach to, you know, coach the guys when they're just so patient and willing to stick with it? Yeah, no, it, it, it's, it's huge for sure. Um, when guys get on their own page, yeah, everything unravels pretty quickly. Um, they're smart guys. They understand that, you know, everyone can look at the standings, look at our roster and realize that, you know, they better be ready to go when, when, when you got to come in here and play us. So, you know, uh, we're going to get everyone's best. You know, I don't foresee anyone taking a night off when they come in here. So uh, we're going to have to be patient. We're going to have to be hard. Uh, you know, we want to grind teams down in the O zone and we want to play, as, you know, as little as possible in the D zone. So part of that's being physical and, you know, playing hard and, you know, be, be, being a man really, you know, out there. It's, it's not easy and, you know, it, it's great to see uh, when the guys stick to the script and then, you know, get rewarded for it. Sarnia Saturday night, Windsor Sunday afternoon. It's a pretty tough trip. What do you do to get ready for it? Yeah, it's a tough trip. I saw a stat the other, I think, on your show. Yeah. Where, uh, <laughs> where uh, you know, haven't had a lot of success over the years. Um, you know, it's a tough one. It's a day, it's a game day travel, so you got the bus legs to worry about. 
But um, you know, we have the depth, we have the legs. I think Tomasino coming back in will be a great, uh, you know, great shot of life for us. So you know, it's important. Uh, it's important we make we you know do a good job made, uh, with maintenance of the guys tomorrow. Then they're on their own for good dinner and, and hydration and everything. And then Saturday it's all business and make sure that you know we come out flying and have a good first period.